The last time a brand new shiny was released, I caught the Shundo. Let's see if we can do that again with today's release of the brand new shiny Tapu Lele. And every time we do a new Tapu Lele raid and it's not shiny, I'll transfer one of my very own. And starting right here with our first Tapu Lele raid. Here we go, beautiful. The nice thing about the Tapus, their shiny is fantastic, all of them. And as always, today we'll talk about the meta relevancy of Tapu Lele, is it worth your grind? And it's polka coins. And is it worth me transferring shinies over? I guess we'll find out today. But if you didn't see it, I did get lucky enough to get a Shundo Tapu Coco when that was released for the first time, and that was the last Tapu. So I'm coming in with some pretty good luck on this. We're gonna have to see how we do. And even if I do get a shiny Tapu Lele, we're gonna continue the transfer challenge throughout the night. Because technically right now in America, this Pokemon isn't even released yet. I'm getting raids from the homies in Australia. Thank you, Fleece King. Okay, we've only done it a couple times. Can we raid one shiny? Oh, I did catch it on the first ball. That's, that's cool. Oh! Oh my god, no freaking way! That was the first raid! Bro, what in the world? First raid, sh I'm tweeting that immediately. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't followed me on Twitter. Oh my god, first raid, I didn't even realize, I, I was literally about to say I don't even know the CPs. First raid hundo, <laughs> oh my god, there's no shot. What did I say? We got a Shundo Tapu Coco. We're coming for the Shundo Tapu Lele. That's ridiculous. Oh my god, I mean so close, but so far, eh? Fortunately, we do have to dip in the graveyard and transfer ay, 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 a brand new shiny, not a brand new, but a 2022 shiny Rog and Rolla, one of my personal favorites. Dang it. Goodbye, God. But oh my God, that's incredible. Well, I've only got 20 Tapu Lele candy and 16 XLs, so a big goal of the video today is to get enough XL candy to level 50 this. Which means we need to pop into our max megas and mega evolve a max mega, max level mega psychic type. Which will help, as always, with the XL candy collection and candy collection when catching psychic types like Tapu Lele. Oh my God, what a start. Let's get it, keep going. Okay, so from our next Tapu Lele raid, it's obvious that we probably should know <laughs> what the 100% is for this thing before raiding it. Well, the 100% catch CPs for Tapu Lele, along with how to take it down. 1996, as we saw, non-weather boosted will give you the hundo, and then weather boosted will be 2496 CP for the hundo. And Tapu Lele is boosted by windy and cloudy weather. Now, this Pokemon is a dual psychic fairy, which means it's weak to ghost, poison, and steel types. With the best counters against this being Mega Gengar, always better to use a Mega of the same typing to help you get more XL candies. But if you need it, Mega Gengar, and also Steel types like Metagross, Dialga, Poison types like Nialigo, and then Ghost types like Chandelure and Giratina Origin Form. And now I actually have this Pokemon that I got, <laughs> well, in the video you're gonna see soon. My first ever Shadow 100% IV. One of the best Pokemon in my collections, and now it's super useful against Tapu Lele, which is fantastic. So that's how you take this thing down. Now let me show you how to get the Shiny. Just like this. Dang it. 1927, not our hundo. But it's really important that we catch all of these ones for those XL candies because we got the freaking hundo. Nice, caught it. That is five XL candies in and a transferred shiny spiel. Uh, not that bad, I guess. God. Okay, just got back from a walk. Next tap, we lay down. And maybe, just maybe, third time's a charm. God. Next. Oh my God, a shiny Terrakion? Bro, who put a shiny legendary inside my graveyard, dude? No shot! With Sacred Sword, an exclusive move. Oh my god. Oh, that hurts. Oh, wow! Why? Okay, next check. Surely if we sacrifice a Shiny Legendary, we get a Shiny Legendary. God, dude, come on! And then we get rid of Shiny hop -up. At least it's not a legendary. Okay, next Tapu Lele raid, let's talk about the meta relevancy of this Pokemon. Specifically in the raids. It's a fairy and it's a psychic type. Is it a good fairy and psychic type? Should you spend money on battling this? Well, if you get the Hundo, might as well to get the level 50, but if you don't have the Hundo, it's exceptionally mid. Actually, it's not even mid, it's just garbage. As a psychic type, it just does not rank against other amazing psychic types like Shadow Mewtwo. And as a fairy type, it also kind of just underperforms. Cool Pokemon, great shiny. Not really meta relevant as a raid boss counter. Okay, let's get a shot. And the pain continues with a shiny Starly transfer. Oh, it is my Goldie Shiny Tapu tonight, so we're taking this to stream to help. This is Shiny Tapu, check one of the stream. Kind of doing good. Okay, well, it, this is a shiny transfer challenge, so we do have to go into the graveyard. I'm gonna close my eyes, graveyard tap. I mean, I mean, I, are we gonna, why is that there? You know, listen, if it finds its way in the graveyard, it finds its way in the graveyard, dude. There's nothing I can do about it, okay? <laughs> oh my God. Yo, why did I put this in here, dude? Here's the, here's the bright side. Requaz is coming back to raids 
for like three days. Chat, who who here doesn't have Shiny Rayquaza and is going to be in extra pain for the, watching this? Rip Bozo. Oh, God. All right, rip the Band-Aid. Shiny Rayquaza. God, I don't think I've ever done that. Ah! Havana Cadabra. No. I thought I was going to escape this. Okay, graveyard, click, Shiny. Right after Rayquaza, we transfer a Shiny Dino. God, I know I had a calm day, but that's just equally as painful. It's not any less painful. We still need the shiny tonight, dude. This is like an unreleased early brand new shiny, dude. Uh, you know me, I'm just chilling. I'm hanging out. I am transferring shinies like this golden shiny stuffle. Dang it. Goodbye, my friend. God. Let's get this early release. Shiny type of glowing. God. Okay, into the graveyard, eyes closed. Shiny Starly, not bad. It's not a Rayquaza. Still hurts. God, dude. I just want one Shiny tonight. Chat Graveyard, click. It's Hoppip. I kind of peeked. I peeked, but it's fine. Shiny Hoppip. Next one on the chopping block. This one's fine, though. Goodbye. I can't believe we transferred to Shiny Rayquaza. Well, at least after this check, we don't have to chance for any more, shall we? <laughs> oh, my God. Next on the chopping block, it's a Shiny Sand Shrew. Goodbye. Well, we've got another try, another Tapu. And one last point on the meta relevancy of this Pokemon. In PvP, it's ranked 93rd in the Masters League. So it is a top 100 Masters League Pokemon, but other than that, the other leagues, it's not really that good. So Tapu Lele overall, not the greatest legendary. And especially considering this month, we're gonna have Rayquaza back in raids and Primal Groudon and Kyogre. There's more better options to save your raid passes for. But it's a cool legendary, it's got a great shiny, and we got the hundo, so I'll be grinding it. Oh, also, speaking of, well, the Primal Rumblings event and the Hoenn Tour, if you're gonna be in Las Vegas, I'm hosting my first ever in-person event, my first ever in-person Pokemon Go event. There's a box break, some cool VIP activities, a really fun Pokemon Go challenge video that's gonna be filmed with everybody, and Trainer Tips is gonna come out and DJ throughout the night, which is gonna be sick. It's like a Las Vegas in-person Pokemon Go community pre-party for the Hoenn Tour. If you're gonna be in Las Vegas, for the Hoenn Tour weekend. The link is in the description. Tickets are on sale right now for that event. Can't freaking wait. And hopefully we'll do this at more events around the world as well. Really excited for that. Excited for that and all the other legendaries we're getting this month that we'll be able to raid. I guess including Tapu Lele. New shiny's cool. Let's see if we can end the night with a shiny. God. No shiny, but another four XL candies. And now we transfer a shiny Sand True. Not the worst. Well, we have nine extra Tapu. I want to transfer all these, get a couple more XLs. Not nice. But we do have our 100% of Tapu right now. And I want to power it up as much as possible. 100,000 XP. Driving Stardust. We'll get it up to 3,145 CP, which is awesome. We're now underneath a million dust. Yikes. But that is a nice consolation prize for all the shinies transferred today. And my first ever first raid Hundo Tapu Lele. Mind blowing. Gonna have to get the shiny eventually, maybe as a part of tomorrow's video, or during the Twitch streams, link in the description if you want to come hang out during that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, check out the other videos on screen, and check out the Vegas event if you'll be there. Hope to see you guys there. Take care. See you next video.